Value-based insurance design is an idea that came out of the University of Michigan and the Institute of Healthcare Policy and Innovation. Myself and my colleagues who work in the Center for Value-Based Insurance Design, we found that most Americans who had insurance were paying what we call a one-size-fits-all cost sharing. You paid the same for every doctor visit. You paid the same for every diagnostic test. You paid the same for every drug, regardless of how much healthier it made you. Most of the time, those prices that patients paid were based on how much things cost, as opposed to how beneficial it was to your health. We came up with an idea 15 years ago that said, why wouldn't we set health insurance in a way that the good things, the things that make you healthier, would cost you little or nothing. And the things that you might want that may not make you healthier would cost you more. The key tenet of value-based insurance design is a concept called clinical nuance. And what I mean by clinical nuance is that medical services differ in the benefits they provide. And even if you pick a high-value service, such as colorectal cancer screening with colonoscopy, that colonoscopy will be high or low value depending on who gets it, who provides it, and where. But the more that we set how we pay clinicians and how we incent individuals to interact with the healthcare system based on who they are, who their provider is, and where they're going, the better off I believe we will be in terms of improving quality, which motivates myself as a physician, but also constraining costs, which is the number one item on the discussion points of every employer, health plan, and policymaker. We're extraordinarily pleased that this University of Michigan idea has not only broad multi-stakeholder support, consumers, physicians, hospitals, labor unions, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, it also has bipartisan political support. Our key policy milestone was the inclusion of the term value-based insurance design in the Affordable Care Act, the part of the act that mandates that Americans will pay nothing for high-value preventive services. We are thrilled to see value-based insurance design included in the Better Care, Lower Cost Act introduced in the U.S. Congress in early 2014. And specifically, very exciting for us, the Value-Based Insurance Design Better Care Act introduced into the U.S. House of Representatives in the summer of 2014, a companion bill introduced in the Senate in the fall of 2014. On top of that, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, introduced a request for information in the fall of 2014, specifically asking stakeholders across the country to give their comments about value-based insurance design expanding into Medicare. The extension of value-based insurance design into Medicare would be a paramount achievement for us, and we're highly optimistic that this RFI will lead to a demonstration of VBID in our over 65 population. The spirit of value-based insurance design is not a cost-driven initiative, but to make sure that the right levers are in place to make sure individuals get the right medical services at the right time, in the right location, at the appropriate price. We want this to be a center for value-based insurance design idea. We want this to be an IHPI idea. We want this to be a University of Michigan idea. And we want this to be a state of Michigan idea. The Institute for Healthcare Policy and Innovation allows me tremendous opportunity to take a Michigan idea to our capital Lansing, let alone a Michigan idea to the U.S. Congress to say, this idea, which now has a national role in healthcare transformation, started here in Ann Arbor.